hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well today i know i am if this is your first time here hi my name is iliana and i am on my debt-free journey trying to pay off over 100k in credit cards car loan and student loans and if you're a returning subscriber hi welcome back i'm so glad you could join me so today i am going to be doing my paycheck two for the month of february can't believe we are in our last week of February. This month always feels like it barely even started. Um, so we're going to be in March in less than a week now. Wow. Can't believe how time just flies by. Like, whew. Well, it's, also, it's a good, yeah, bad thing because... I really wish time would slow down just a little bit so we can enjoy this year because this year started off pretty bumpy for me. So I was hoping to enjoy the remainder of the year, but what can you really do? Can't stop time. Although I really wish we could go back in time. I really wish I was a kid again so I could not worry about bills, but such is life. All right, so this was actually a pretty good paycheck because I had four and a half, not four, four point two five hours of overtime, which was really exciting. That's gonna probably be my last time I for me to get overtime because, uh, sad to say, but my job is stopping all overtime, so we have to actually really keep a close eye. On how much we spend how much time we have so I wish we could keep the overtime but things happen so so we got let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see it a little bit better okay so we have paycheck number one no, number two. That just came in. Okay. So, in other news. My... My um, taxes came in. Which is good. I still don't know what I want to do with them yet. I'm, like, on the fence right now. But... For right now, I'm going to keep it in my savings account, in my Capital One 360 account, because, like I said, I don't know what I want to do with it. So, that is why, was that is why I am keeping it there for the time being. As, as I said, I don't even remember what I what I put my my expected i believe i put it at 1100 and it actually came out to be it came out to be 1200 5 dollars and 19 cents so 105 dollars more than what I expected always excited so that is what I'll be working with with this paycheck I didn't have too much bills this month this paycheck I mean just the usual big ones so let me separate it how are you guys doing with your paycheck too are you guys on track let me know. Okay. Oy. Okay. All right. Let me put the other one to the cash envelopes. Oop, it's all crooked. Has anyone 
been watching this new show I've, I've really gotten into. It's called The Cleaning Lady. I really am have been I really have been enjoying it. I could like I think anybody who's seen it could tell the two main leads are like have that attraction to each other in the series so I don't know if anyone's seen it so I'm not going to give out any details but you can already see off the bat that they're attracted to each other. <laughs> That's not much of a spoiler. So for my bills, I have rent. I the total budgeted is three hundred. The actual I am putting towards it is one fifty because I gave out the other one fifty in paycheck one. Then we have my car max. Why do I keep? Why am I putting it as car? Max? No, it's Capital One. I accidentally put it as cap as car max. Um, here we go. It's my Capital One, not CarMax. Thank goodness I figured it out before I continue, continue that. Um, I budgeted 308 That is not the minimum. The min minimum, I believe, is 234 and change, but I like using my old minimum payment amount just because I can knock off some money. I believe only $64 went towards interest when I made this payment and the rest went towards the loan, which is now like 10,100 and something now. You'll find out what it is um, on my debt tracker update. The next one is Verizon, which is my phone bill. I don't remember how much I budgeted that for. I never remember. I think I budgeted that at 85. Okay, so it was 85 that I budgeted and it actually came out to be 84.64, which was a few cents cheaper than I thought. Then we have I think that's it. Yes. That is it. So that's not bad. Perks of paying off your credit cards. Okay. go. Let me grab my calculator. We can add this up. Okay. So the budgeted amount 300 plus 308 plus 85 equals 693. The actual was 150 plus 308 that's 84.64 equals 542.64. That's pretty good. Although I do really hate having this chunk come out every month, but I'm getting close. I really think I'll be under nine, under 10,000 by. I'm hoping I can put some money to make to make my car payment, my car loan amount under 10,000 with my next paycheck cross your fingers and then I can make my regular payment so cross your fingers for me hopefully I can get that done okay cash envelopes are the usual groceries gas personal food and then salt because I have to put salt in the system. Okay, so I budgeted a total of, I believe it was 240, took out 120. Gas, 
I did not take out, but I believe, let me double check, I budgeted, budget it, I can't ever say it right the first time, for gas $80. As a total, I took out 40, and then personal total is 100, took out 50, same thing with food, and it's also 50. And then salt, I budgeted that 30, and I only took out 20, so. So let's add this all up. So we got 240 plus 80 plus 200 plus 30 equals 550. That was the budget amount, which is from the monthly, the spent or taken out 120 plus 40 plus 100 plus 20 equals 280. Okay, so that is that. And then we go on to the miscellaneous. Okay, there we go. Miscellaneous, which is savings. That's my automatic savings that comes out. Total is 20. Got 10. Then sinking funds, which I had a little more since I did some overtime. I don't remember how much I did here. Sinking funds was a total of 100. And I added 50. I'm sure you guys saw the cash breakdown slash sinking funds video that I just did. Then we have the challenge videos, the challenge money. Challenge money is 100. Hmm. I have to remember. How much did I take out for the challenge money? Ah, thankfully I wrote it down. So we have 34 for the mosaic, 20 for the, for the $10 challenge, 25 for Christmas, 30 for envelopes, plus 32, 17 equals 141, 17. Right, that was it. 141.17. Let me double check that. So 34 plus 20 plus 25 plus 30 plus 50. Oh no. Sinking funds was 50. 34 plus 20 plus 25 plus 30 plus 32.17 equals 141.17 because I had that money from before. So this is what I actually took out of my account. 141.17 for the challenge. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Yes, I can't remember anything else. So let's see how much this adds up to. So 20 plus 100 plus 100 is 220. Then we got 10 plus 50 plus 141, 17 equals 201.17. Wow. 
it took out more than I thought it was going to. All right. So now to the best part, the best and worst part, the cash breakdown. All right. There we go. And we have the bill, the income, which is 1100 for the actual it's 120519 then we have bills that was 693 and the actual was 54264 then the cash envelopes That is five fifty. Makes it two eighty. And then we have the miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is two twenty for the budgeted, and the actual was two oh one seventeen. Let's see what it comes out to. I think I'm gonna be in the green just because I got a little bit more money than I usually do. Okay, so let's subtract. We have 1100 minus 693 minus 550 minus 220 equals a negative. Let me get the red pen. Sorry guys, it's buried in here. I don't know where my red pen went. I'm gonna have to look at my other came out to be a negative negative 363 $363 Woo. that's not very good <laughs> good thing I didn't follow that budget so now we have 1205 19 minus 542 64 minus 280 minus 20117. Whew, I'm in the positive, guys. Positive 181.38. That is my cushion for my account. I'm going to see if I put some money towards my Dillard's card so I can get it paid off quicker because I do have a goal of paying it off by the by the end of next month so wish me luck hopefully I won't be on a spending spree like I usually am after I have some extra money if you'd like to see more videos like this one please subscribe I would love it I love having you guys be part of my family I have these cute little stickers I've been trying to use up Look how cute this is. So let me know how you guys are doing. I don't know if anyone is still on track. Let me know. Or if you guys are just ready for this month to be done with. I could can definitely understand if you really want it to be done. I know I want it to be done, but hopefully things end well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you'd like to join me on my YouTube, my, my journey to debt freedom, by all means, hit that 
subscribe button. I would love it if you were part of my YouTube family. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.